Here we are with lot number six. This would be 29-1, uh, spot gilt. This would be a heads-up loudmouth uh, out of the 2211 sow, which was the champion at Fort Worth there in 18. Uh, she'd be a litter mate to the champion in reserve at the Dixie National there in 18 as well. Uh, and that particular sow is one of the older sows on the farm, and uh, Sal has just done an incredible job for us. Uh, we would have had champion, $4,600 champion gilt at, uh, at uh, Springfield there in, in 19, and that sow would have been uh, the mother. The grandmother to the reserve at Nail in 20, uh, 2020 or 2019, uh, a sow family that's really just done an incredible job would go back to that 17 sow, uh, the, the old detox sow that's really just got our, our program started there. We got from Mullins Peters there uh, seven or eight years ago. And so, uh, you know, 20, uh, the 29 1 guild here, I think, is just, uh, I really, really like this guild. I think this one's got a ton of future. Her uh, immaturity, her length of front end, her femininity for a head uh, and head carriage for a spot guild is just impeccable I like uh, I like this one's bone work uh, I like this one's center body uh, no she's probably not the most bulky one right now in terms of muscle uh, but one that I think um, it uh, just reads like a big ring one that that uh, have gotten along here so well the last few years is being loose structured loose skeleton really correct in her bone work uh, one that uh, I think you know really reads like a big ring kind of a gill and out of a south family that certainly hit some big licks in some big rings across the country so uh, you know good need for a spotted uh, all good pasture for a spotted gilt and uh, really like this one right here just for being super correct long feminine uh, later mature kind of a guilt but one that I think uh, incredible upside here on this particular female 29-1 spot guilt heads up back on the 2211 loudmouth sow.